Hello everybody, we are playing Roboto Chemical Drive today! Gotta hit the start button. Oh, right. There used to be start buttons. Yeah, there used to be start buttons. Oh, nope, okay. Did you hit- X is apparently cancel. Well, yeah, because this is a Japanese game. Yeah. Like, this is just like uh, a low game. Oh, shit. Uh, this game is essentially... Uh, Ooh. Oh, God, what's that, oh, what's that movie? Pacific Rim the video game. Oh, fuck. Uh, so you pick a robot, Ten. and the robot is like... All right, so oh, so you play as a child, and oh, okay. the child has his own robot, and basically what happens is the city gets attacked, and then oh. you he's 17. He's run around, and you How is that guy go 17? so... I have no clue. Cool and unflappable. Uh, <laughs> sole heir to the bankrupt Sukioki family. That doesn't Tsukioka. sound. Sukioka. That was very close, Steve. Is, that doesn't sound like something you want to be an heir to. I mean, Cheerful with a sense of justice. Apparently, both of you are from the Tsukioka family. I, I guess. As oh yeah, the chairman Wait, of the civilization how are they both preservation. The sole heir? That's not how soul heirs work. Oh, you're picking the way your character looks. Oh. You have the same backstory. No. Bright and compassionate. What is wrong with her arm? Look at uh, her right arm. Look at her left arm. Look at the elbow. Neither arm looks correct. Like, someone's like, I don't... Dude, I don't know how to draw arm. Look at her thumb. Arm. Oh my god, okay. what's wrong with her thumb? Hands are hard to draw. No, I know. I'm going to be honest. Look at his thumb. Go back. Look at that thumb. Man, you could tell whoever was drawing these could not draw hands really well because he tries to hide them on like every character. Oh, you know what it is? Huh? It's the, uh, it's the, uh, every kid from when we were in high school wanting to draw anime. They focused oh, like 200% on the face. All right, we're going to be... And then they like completely ignored the rest of the like the rest of the way the hands look, cause like yeah. the hands and like the legs and everything. And so like you'd always see like those girls with the notepads or the guys with the notepads, and they'd have drawings of like anime characters, but it's always the face. Yeah. And then like it'll always have them like in a really cool pose, but like Whoa. the hands are like. I don't hidden. remember Buzz Aldrin dying. What? It said 1969. Mankind first lands on the moon. Everyone dies on the way back. I'm like, ooh, I don't think that's how the game... How uh, apparently we had a space station in 1976. Um... I don't know how real that is. Nectar Radiance, Radiance is discovered in 1980. Nectar Radiance is found to be drifting throughout space. It is invariably lethal to any organic life form. It penetrates any substance. Nothing can provide protection from it, so long as Nectar Radiance... Per Res exists. exists. There we go. We got there. It is impossible for life forms to travel into space. Earth's organic life forms are unable to survive only because of the planet's protective atmosphere. Nectar radiance imprisons life forms on Earth. Humankind christens it Nectar Radiance. All space exploration projects are indefinitely postponed. Wow, I couldn't even say exploration. Humankind cannot advance to the stars. Alien life forms cannot come to Earth from space. Humankind continues its solitary existence. However, robots. Dot, 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 now loading. Oh, PlayStation 2. But yeah, like, I remember, like, seeing those people who walked around with, like, their little drawing pad. But they always focus on, like, the face and yeah. the facial expressions. Or they'd, like, have the character doing, like, a really cool pose. But the hands were always, like, hidden in the hair. BNN. Hello. We bring you breaking news. <laughs> oh. It's. It's. It's just, just beyond belief. <laughs> <laughs> Rome is reportedly under attack by a gigantic humanoid weapon. It is said to have suddenly appeared and Jill. began attacking indiscriminately. You were almost a Jill sandwich. The damage <laughs> is estimated to be catastrophic. We will bring you oh, more information as soon as we receive I any updates. I can't update. tell if they uh -huh. threw this through like... We've made connection. 
Um, We've got a live feed from the disaster scene. If this is like a, a text to speech, yeah, machine, if this is a text to speech tell machine, either. or if, like they found like a homeless person and they're like, <laughs> "You want to make twenty bucks?" All right, whose dick do I have to suck? No, no, no. You just got to talk to this mic. This. It's more money than we've made, Tom. BNN emergency broadcast giant this robot appears in real. Italy. The city is under attack by a towering humanoid weapon, which suddenly appeared out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The whoa. Calm down. The acting's a little too good here. Oh. The city is burning. Them polygons. Don't destroy them. Like no. Nah. Oh, something shot out of it. It, it blew a building apart. Uh, uh that it's was a little late. Incredible. The eternal city is fast becoming a blazing ruin. This isn't a movie. This is real. This is reality. This is the darkest timeline. <laughs> Why does it look like it's a giant robot with like awesome thruster packs, but then it has like these tiny little prey mantis arms that have like, like, uh, like pickaxes on the tops of them? Why does it look like it really needs to take a shit? Where's the bathroom? Oh, oh God! I've got a turtle head poking. Shouldn't have had that. That. That egg salad sandwich. Oh, you never get egg salad from gas stations. Oh my goodness. Suck it, Rome. Load screen. There's a lot of loading. Yeah. Dude, this had like four bytes. That's all it had. Like that's the It had four bytes and then it was full? Yeah. Uh, that was too much. Shouldn't have had that fourth one. Ugh. Do I get to play as a little girl now? Yep. I have to hurry here. I might be late meeting up. Meeting up with whom? Directional buttons. Advance. Turn the Oh my retreat? Ah. Uh, oh. The, the train's platform. So you're in Japan, Senjo. obviously. And Senjo Station. Apparently you're just running in the middle of the street. Oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, wait, what was that? A double jump? I fly. Are you flying? flying? Up past the wickets. Is that what those are called? Thanks, game. Those are called wickets? What the hell? I have, like, rocket boots. Oh, my well, God. I mean, you have a giant robot that you can summon. So right. Rocket boots are kind of, like, necessary. You're late. <laughs> you left me waiting. Now I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm sorry. I slept in. Ha, ha, ha. Common anime trope. We've been friends since junior high. Don't worry about it. Anyway, thanks for joining me to shop. Let's catch the next train. Man, what if this game just got like super dark and like the robot just smashes down and kills the girl? But it only kills your friend? Yeah, and you're just like, oh, but, but you're like blood splattered. <laughs> it's like just suddenly becomes Neon Genesis Evangelion and you're like, oh, oh my God. Well, I don't know. Neon Genesis was like dark, but it wasn't like Elfin Laid dark. On track one, like, I don't know if you remember Elfin Laid. I've never seen him. So in Elven Laid, there's a scene where there's just like this girl walking around and she has like on a helmet. I and can't stand living! Oh! 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 Steve! <laughs> I didn't expect that. That was so much blood! Calling Why? Oh my god. <laughs> I did not expect it. I thought the train would stop, or I couldn't jump on the tracks, but or no. Or like you'd be pushed by collision. Yeah, that's what I thought. What is going on? <laughs> I'm calling for you. Miss Sukiyoka, please, please come, come now. now. The Trillennium Committee needs your help. The what? The Trillennium, Tom. It's like a millennium, but, but three. Yeah. The Trillennium Committee? The fuck is that? The committee has gone active. <laughs> the committee has what gone active. About? It's what like what? The Bitch, did you not see me just get hit by a train? Bankruptcy. They've spent a fortune making scrap metal. I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, but in Elven Lay, there's like this scene where there's this girl and she's walking down this hallway, and there's what a bunch of like this? soldiers and they come out on the other side and they're just they like point guns at her mm -hmm. and they start screaming at her and then all of a sudden you watch as one literally just explodes into organs. Nice. And then What's like another on? guy's head gets slowly crushed until blood splurts everywhere. No. Like the whole thing is fucked up. Because like Oh, the Phantom Menace. 
Can't be the phantom effect. Wait, it was just in Rome. Yeah, now it's in uh, Japan. Oh no. There goes Tokyo. Oh man. Look at his tiny little hands. I'm gonna grab ya. I can't believe it. What? What is that? Uh, looks like a giant a robot. Vergara giant. I didn't think it existed. What? How do you know all this? <laughs> I love her inflection of Volgara giants. What, what am I doing now? Hopefully you're not going to get hit by a goddamn train again. I don't think you're supposed to go after it, Steve. Oh, um, this might be bad. Yeah. Nope. Oh, save. All right, I think uh, you're supposed to run away from the robot. Because your friend is with you. Interesting. You got to go to the Trillinium Committee, Steve. Quick, to the Trillinium Falcon. That robot is heading towards the city. Uh, I think um, it's already in the I city. I go. She what just, are you gonna she do? She just like rips off her sweater and is like going? has a Superman suit underneath. Or she like whips out like a wand from her bag and turns into a magical schoolgirl and flies at the robot. I have to go home to grandma. What is your grandma gonna she do? She wasn't feeling well, so she stayed in bed. Wait, you're not going to try running right by that robot, are? I have to save my grandma. I have to save my grandma by getting crushed to death. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, I'll go with you. I, I guess we're running past the robot. I guess so. Ah, oh, it's a red spot on the map. Hopefully the robot doesn't. So that. push the start button to display map. Huh? Oh, okay. So you're directly in front of it. All right, go, Steve. Bye, robot. Later, robot. Ignore the fact that I have dro rocket boots. Magic flying powers. Woo! Uh, I think I landed in the tree. Yeah, collision. Uh, yep, right there. I think this is, uh, what's her face's house? Nope, wrong house. Nope. Okay. Ooh. Oh, man. Trolls. She's got some thick legs. She do. She's got like some like thick calves. But I'll be honest, that's uh, it's at least a little bit more realistic than like just it being like two little like sticks. I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, I like thick calves. Yeah, but I mean, it's like at least like like other characters, it would just be like two little sticks, you know? Yeah. All right. Uh, Is this not the place? I think you have to go across behind the house. Don't mind me, robot enforcement. Beep boop bop. Uh, hit start. Yeah, it's behind you more. It's that house right there. Oh, like the one house that looks completely different than the rest. Yeah. Should have thought about that. Laser beam! Oh. Fuck your grandma! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Robots do not have grandmas. Grandma! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> he did. He fucking blew up your grandma. No! <laughs> Fuck you, robot! This Fuck you, grandma! Be true. Uh. The city. I, Senjo is on fire. I think it's more of a suburb. Oh, this guy's kind of a skyscraper. Wow, yeah, he straight murdered grandma. Yeah. Oh. Um. Now what? You gotta go to the Trillinium Committee. Who are you? This game is not good about telling you what to do. No, it is not. Hey, Professor Oak. Oh my I'm god. He looks like super old Spike. Alloy. He so does. This is like giant. Spike in his like Reptile late 60s. Garden. So that's a Volgara giant. I've spent my entire life correct. studying brain mantises. So there, and look now at, my time has come. Look at he said it, a Viagra giant. <laughs> a Viagra giant? So that's a Viagra giant. Huh. Dr. Arai. Well, oh, that would explain my pants right now. Yo, Doc. German? What good what, time what, is German? It? That is a Volgara. Yeah, we already came to that conclusion. The yep. one who can overcome the nectar barrier. Uh, I don't so, know how you pronounce that word. Now. Apparently, this game has 50 levels. Ah, okay. 
So it has 50 missions. Take cover? What are you saying? Isn't there something that you ought to be doing? Oh, each character has their own little catchphrase. Oh, yeah? So, uh, Naoto Tsukioka, the, the kid with the jacket, uh -huh. like the red jacket and the blue hair, yep. it's, if I don't do it, who will? Uh, Ryos Tsukioka, the, the gentleman in the suit, yep. says, the grown-ups seem to think we exist to heed their wishes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and then Yui, who you are right now, is, I think I've been waiting all this time for someone like you. Pardon? Well, yeah, she's a female protagonist, therefore the there must be a male protagonist exist. somewhere that's there to validate her. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Nanao is, what I don't like sunsets. The they remind serve. me of that day. <laughs> oh. Are you saying the Mega Knight is... No, it can't be. What are you talking it about? It's all for what is happening today. This is the controller. Now go. Really? Go to the committee. Really? It's it's like a PlayStation controller? Of course. But just just remember, Steve, Breath of the Wild. Get going. You got your Sheikah Hurry. slate. God damn it. Oh my god. Go to the red, red spot, spot on the map. Thanks. Oh, you gotta go behind the robot. Fuck you, I'll fight the robot. Come at Charge! Me. Oh, he's gonna shoot you. Come at me, robot. I'll fuck you up. The red spot is the committee. Volgara. It seems shameful to destroy it. I mean, he's kind of fucking true. Yeah. The apex of evolution. The ultimate form of life. Are you sure about that, old he man Spike? Is Supercell. Oh! oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Dr. Arai. Nah, he is. Why? What? I hate PlayStation. What? Yeah, he got. BBN News. He got just straight obliterated. This is Mika Valhalla, live from downtown San Jose. Say Mika Valhalla. Oh, listen to that voice. Unfolding here at the hands of an enormous humanoid weapon. It is firing what appear to be beams of massive destructive power. Because is this a hate crime? I, no warning, I don't know. It's right behind you. And authorities appear to be in a total panic. It is a scene of unbelievable right destruction and carnage. I think it's on top what of that building. What you are seeing is yep. not a movie. Already, numerous casualties have been reported. I think it is this recorded. building. Yep. Okay, I guess that's Ooh. close enough. Oh, that voice. Ah, Chairman. Oh. Chairman? You're just in time. Now, do Fine. a German accent. So we will launch Glen. Pardon? Uh. Wasn't it unfinished? Alchemic drive hasn't been tested. System ignition could be dangerous. You're still what? going to launch? If anything goes wrong, it will be a catastrophe. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah. German accent, bro. But while I would like to avoid unnecessary risk, Senjo is doomed if we don't act. I'm... <sighs> Alchemic drive may go out of control and kill us, or we die at the hands of the Valgara. We have no choice. Pray that it works. I don't... I... But the risk! What are you people saying? What is Glang? Alchemic drive ignition. Glang, prepare for lunch. For mm. lunch? Mm. I'll take a club sandwich, please. Uh, I could go for some tortilla soup. Now what? Uh, Glang is launching. Is launching. Cause you know, no military response or anything like that. No, no tanks, no bombs, nothing. Oh, that was a good launch. I'm so tired. Ugh. I had too much lunch. I guess you could say that lunch tanked what? my energy. What is that? Fucking 
die, Steve. A gigantic tank? Bet you know it. The self-propelled fortress for city defense. Glang the castle keep. You uh, can't be both. Controlling Glang. Oh man, listen to that. Like the drums going in the back and it's just like Select button. Switches controls between the hero and Glang. Oh, so you activate the oh, remote control when you hit select. Yeah, so the whole point of this game is, is you put the position your hero and uh, summon the robot. And then once you summon the robot, you use it to fight him, uh, to fight the, the enemy. Yeah. And you have to be careful that you don't... Um, Wait, can you... Oh, is your camera from the human? Yes. Oh my god. Yeah, so you have to be very... You have to position yourself to where you can the see has taken a turn for Wow. The worst. Okay. <laughs> yep. Wait, where am I even going? You're going, going the opposite the way. way. Has seen the appearance of another enormous Warcraft. What will become of Senjo now? What accent is that? Uh, a really really racist one. I can't even place it. I'm not even sure what it's attempting to be. Uh, I want to say it's trying to be Japanese. I don't know. It didn't it, it sound like a Japanese person trying to have some sort of other accent, though? Like a Japanese person trying to sound Chinese? No, I'm not sure it was supposed to be Asian. Uh, All right, Steve, activate Glang. Oh, no shit. Oh, you fell down the hole. I did. And you are. 200% just lagging right now. No, I'm fine. You're fine? Fine. fine. You're fine? Okay. Alright. Everything's all right. okay. Alright, okay. right, you're there. Go. But no, I gotta get up here. Don't worry, I got this. Alright. He's gonna notice you and he's gonna like F you up. Come on. Come on, robot. Come on, robot. And go. I don't even know how you transform. We'll figure it out. I don't even know how to attack. Beep beep! Wait. <laughs> Gentlemen, can you hear me? No. Nope. Hi. Dr. Wiltz? Hey. The enemy's coming. Uh, what the should enemies, I do? The enemy's on top of us. Fire the proton beam. Press the triangle button. I mean. Ah! What? <laughs> proton beam didn't harm it? What armor? What so armor? Is for oh, it's power. got chain mail. That's why. Ah. Uh. What should I do? Fuck, bitch. That was our strongest gun. Cannon. It's an energy hog, but it packs devastating power. Power. Fire it with the circuit button. Oh, what? Oh. Enemy energy output down. We confirm the attack is effective. For a second there, I thought it said the attack it's is effect. Chairman. Oh no! Vanished. It teleported to avoid attack. That must be Volgara's defense mechanism, the Phantom System. Our attacks won't hit. Fortress mode can't get the job done. We must transform. Change over to the vertical mode. Press the square button. Oh! Ow! Ow! Dick! Turn around! I'm trying. So this is the vertical mode, the Mega Knight's true form. Making the Mega Knight walk. Oh yeah, you press the R1 and L1 buttons what? in in the proper order as you <laughs> step in order to, to step. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Because you use the left stick and the right stick to attack oh. by punching. Oh my god. Press and hold the L1, R1 oh. and R2. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, this game is strange. Why? 
Because it's supposed to be that you literally are the kid controlling the giant robo. And I, and I get... Been an amazing new development. Oh my god, do I the really... Stop! Which what are you doing? Stop! Transform okay. Into a human Punch! Robot. How? It hasn't told me! Flick the, the, the right stick forward! It must be easily 40 meters tall. The mechanical giant towers over its surroundings. Nah, what it's like that you hit square, I believe. Jamin, move in for hand to hand combat. I'm if in. The phantom him. system should not react to punches thrown at short range. The analog sticks are for punching. Tip one up to throw a punch. You should know how to punch. <laughs> Each analog stick <laughs> controls You should know how to punch. I was oh my. I'm so confused here. They're a powerful oh punch. My Don't God. forget that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, oh. Tom. Oh, Steve, go. Yeah. Oh. Fuck that. It's like playing fucking Pacific Rim Quark. I, 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 shh. <laughs> now rotate. I'm trying. Has challenged go, the rampaging go, robots. go, Steve. The two mechanical giants are locked in fierce Knock it battle. around. It's incredible. <laughs> we can feel tremors from their violent clashes. Could this be the coming of the Armageddon? <laughs> oh. What accent are you? <laughs> I don't know. You are just slapping him around! Oh my god. What? Who's I'll honking a horn? A powerful punch. Okay! Tip an analog stick out to the side. Then rotate it up 90 degrees oh. to throw a hook. Are you fucking serious? Yep. <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Mess oh. him up! Oh no, Tom! I... Oh my god! Look at it walk! So oh, it's derpy. beautiful! Ugh, slap! Tip an analog stick down, then rotate it up 180 degrees for an even stronger punch. Now you try. So half circle up. Good. The energy is charged. Use the grand charge attack, Gaia Buster. What does that even mean? Press the R1 and L1 buttons together to charge. Then press the triangle button to fire. Uh, you're gonna use the Gaia Buster. You're blowing them up, Steve. Ah, uh, that was effective. Highly, super effective. I'm gonna slap you. Press triangle and circle together to fire your shoulder missiles. The triangle button fires a proton beam. I always like question like the fact that you you know in like Gundam shows and whatnot, like they use their like auto cannons on the forehead. Yeah. And they fire like these little pea shooters at the giant robots, and it's like what is that supposed to even do? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, who thought this was a good control scheme? Oh. Like somebody, like this whole game was built for this control scheme. Shortly like after you can tell. today, an enormous humanoid weapon landed on our soil. The enormous robot was the second to be seen after the Italian calamity. I thought they said calamari. The unidentified robot attacked the city of Senjo indiscriminately. Numerous casualties have been reported. This second robot was challenged by a third humanoid robot. In a pitched battle, the third robot I defeated the second robot. I would not call robot. that a pitched battle. The intervention yeah. of the third robot saved Senjo from total annihilation. But inevitably the destroyed Senjo, most of the rest of the city. Are unknown. Damage to Senjo is extensive. The death total is expected to reach a thousand. Did it just get really quiet? It did. It it slowly faded out. Okay. Oh my goodness. Intermission. Right. Well, everybody, that was 
Roboto Chemical Drive. <laughs> Steve, do you want to do another episode? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, we're going to save it, and we'll yeah. see if you come back to it. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>